gentlemen. It's so dark in here. We have the Halloween esque. <laughs> So it's a very complex little cabinet. They, they, they did everything with one cabinet. So I'm thinking we'll do a similar do, thing like this here. For yeah. Plates. Yeah. Two small ones for saucers. Right. We call it in the business a bird's nest. It has all these little sticks with little tiny nails. Eh. These are all screwed in. That's done. This little piece is made, but we just didn't put anything. Their holes were like this or something. Okay. Much so whatever, wider. Yeah, so whatever that is. Gentlemen, it's so dark in here. You have the Halloween esque. <laughs> Uh, March 18th, day after St. Patrick's Day, day, after St. Patrick's day and here we are. two weeks since our last visit. Yep, exactly. Well, it's a very complex little cabinet. Cause they, they, they did everything with one cabinet. So I'm thinking we'll do a similar do thing like this here. For yeah. Plates. Yeah. Two small ones for saucers. Right. And then this will be kind of generic, right? but it'll have a, a, a taller lid. See that? Right, right, right. So can we be... round out the edges yeah. and kind of like, you know, sweeten it up a little bit? Exactly. So making these pieces. Um, and and not out of a particle board and no. a laminate. Mahogany. Mah are you gonna, are we gonna put the uh, uh, veneer on this? No. No, just stain it. Well, you don't need to say you just varnish it. Varnish it, comes yeah. out perfect. It, yeah. Now, everywhere down below, aft of the galley, we've done satin varnish. Yeah, so satin here, yeah. We're going to do gloss here. Okay, because it's the kitchen. Well, because it's easier to clean. Yeah, kitchen. And yeah. in the galley. Yeah. And, and in the yeah. stateroom's gloss, too, remember? Yeah. yeah. So that's what this is all about. So these dividers that go this way will be somewhat permanent. The shelves will just be sitting on pleats. Right. So you can take the shelf out, and now you got a big area you can clean in here. Okay. We're so. using the old cabinet doors. That's the how, are those, how are those going to look with this new frame? Good, because uh, when this cleans up and sands out, it'll be the same color, basically. Okay. Um, and this, will be, uh, this frame will be gloss. Right. These doors are the only doors we found, pretty much, that we're still holding together. This will be tapered, of course, to fit the hull shape and so forth. And the panel up here will be able to breathe. So what we're going to do, because this area was hard to clean out, I'm sure. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. Oh, yeah. I mean, you couldn't really get your hand in there exactly. yet. So what we're going to do... Do that again. Let's see that again. <laughs> Doug's hand going in. Oh, there we go. Yes. So it getting hard. back in here is like, yeah, really? So what we're going to do is... Did you uh, see how nice and light that is? I do. And you see how nice, big, and clunky, and heavy this no, is? No, this is not. This will be lighter. This will be lighter? Well, here's what happens when you build stuff lightweight. Yeah. you got to start adding heavy cleats to attach everything. When you build something a quarter of an inch thicker, that's all this is. Yeah. Uh, now you can screw right to this. Right. So you're saving a lot of this little bitchy carpentry work with all these little sticks. We call it in the business a bird's nest. So it has all these little sticks with little tiny nails. Eh. These are those cockpit doors. Yeah. They're basically done. We might need another coat on the other side. What are these uh, other pieces here on the right? Those are just stuff we had spaced off of the, to keep it from sticking to the table. Oh, okay. This is the engine room door, which is now finished. Beautiful. And, and we, when we tore out the insulation on the other side, there was a lot of mold in here. Okay. And so we killed that and sealed this with Smith. So I'll show you some stuff that Dave insulated the other day. When he gets back tomorrow, he'll put the insulation on this. And this door is ready to go back in. Okay, great. Check. Check. These are the stove support logs. You have to redo these, huh? Well, the new stove is a little bit narrower. Yeah. So we didn't want to put a big old clunky piece of wood like this. So we gave it a little shape. Yeah. 
So they sit in, in like this. Are these the old ones that have been redone oh, or no, the new no. ones? No, the old ones were junk. These are the new ones. Okay. So Beautiful. the stove swings in there. Yeah. Has a nice little look to it. Elegant. Well, they swing on the hinge, right? The door, uh, the, 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 the stove does. The stove yeah. was, so those are ready to go in. Those are pretty. Varnished. Uh, and like I say, we're, we're using gloss in the galley area and the stateroom because it just because it was. Okay. Um, so it's all parts and pieces. So we're monkeying around with this today. We're gonna laminate up some plywood for the shelves and dividers. We're able to salvage that over there. We might have to order another sheet of that for Micah. What did, what did you salvage? Well, this is a cutoff from the countertop, so we can use this to make the dividers for this. Oh, the dividers. Yeah, the dreaded dividers. They go this way. Yeah, where are the old ones? They're oh, all well, they're kind of pieces around. here and pieces there. But you see, a, like, yeah, here they are. Ugh. Like, you can see the way they did this. Or this was, it's all delaminating, of course. Everything in that cabinet was. But these were set into these little pieces and then put up here and there. So, yeah, so when you're using light wood like that, you, it's a fool's game because you're not really saving any weight. You have to keep adding all these little pieces to it. And of course the labor just is crazy. And they fitted their dividers, which are, you know, delaminating, to the hall and the, and the sheer clamp shelf. So that when this cabin went in, this whole area was sealed off. Masonite, right, they're just terrible. That's where all the termite and mildew stuff was going on. Okay. And of course, because it traps moisture, uh, everything was delaminated. Let's see the, let's see the delaminated part. Let's yeah. Hold that for a second. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty delaminated. They all were. So, there you go. Right, but no, it's a whole puzzle in there. Well, we can either save it or make a new one. Same story. If you try to save this, you've got mm, an hour. Yeah. To get rid of the mold, and wipe it clean, and start sealing it. Oh, that at least it's a piece of the original. Like right. The laminated stuff. This is not that great, but you know the idea that oh, we kept this one, this centerpiece. We may be able to cut this down and make it work. You know, because it's a little bit small. I mean, it's a little bit big right now for. The, it is. Right. But it sets inside behind that frame, the frame anyway. Behind the frame, behind yes. Behind the, the face, right? Yeah. So. See, because what we're thinking is our dividers will come just inside this. Mm -hmm. And our cleat over here. So this shelf is in three pieces and can be somewhat readily removed without tools to get in there and clean. And I just hate building stuff into a boat that's l locked in there. You know? mm -hmm. And if you had to do anything back in there, you had to break out a sawzall. So now we're going to take this up there and the dreaded sink. The counter for the uh, galley. I'll just hand it up to you, Clint. So this is going up now. It's ready to go. Yeah. Um, it's been up and down a few times already. Yeah, a couple times because. You have the fridge in there, everything has very limited clearance. Yeah. Um, and of course, you have to get it in there. So it's been sealed and painted on the bottom and the edges. Here we come. Yeah. These are all screwed in. Oh, wow. That's done. This little piece is made, but we just didn't put it in in a way. And this is where the stove logs go, the new ones. Right. To cover all these old holes. They come up flush under here. The uh, stove, you know, supports. Yeah. Got our cleats for our ceiling planks in, which we'll be working on the next day or two. Okay. okay Those yeah. are already cut. Those are yeah. ready. Mm -hmm. And now it's time to install the ceiling planks there? Pretty quick, yeah. Yeah. Um, for the last time? For the last, well, they have to be varnished. But They're not varnished yet? I no. thought you varnished them first. No, no. You, you fit them first and drill them, right. number them, take no, them no, down. No, I thought that's all done. 
No, not in here. All from here forward is. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see, I see. Ceiling plank okay, side. the stove, please. Good thing is, this has this is new, of course. This lower shelf, a little mahogany edge band on there. Huh. Then that's new, well, restored. This has been reused, but we skinned it with new formica. It's all fresh and new in here. Yeah. Ready? Here goes nothing. It's tight. Yep. Okay, this is childproof. All right. Then the um, stainless edge banding goes on, of course. And this See, this distance from here to there had to be perfect, <laughs> or it would have never worked. Okay, bring this clamp right there, Clint. Right, right about here. So is this going in now for the last time? Uh, no. <laughs> so what, what are we clamping it on for to try to fit something? Well, because now we're going to try to fit this cabinet, see? I think one here. Uh, uh, we're going to try to fit this, this old cabinet in. Just for size wise. Fair. Yeah, in other words, with the now new and improved countertop. Okay, that's good. Uh -huh. We want to make sure that that cabinet still fits. Still fits how it looks. What okay. you already cut all those nubs that when it, it it caused it to bind up on the deck beams, which was totally unnecessary. Right, right. They were sticking up like yeah, that. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Leave the gap. Yeah. So you see how it fits? Pretty good. Great. So we can use it as a pattern for sure. Well, just use it. <laughs> it's done. Oh God. Just use it. No. No. It looks good. Look how clean and it has the nice shelf behind you. You don't even need another shelf for the bottom. No, that's the part of the countertop. Yeah, that's beautiful. It's like the Air Force saying, use the Wright Brothers plane. It flew great. No, yeah, but look at it. It's all trimmed out with the nice little bits of wood, the frame. Well, most of it. The frame's a little busted. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. And the formica is split. <laughs> and the wood's cracked and it's delaminating. And it's, you know, <laughs> it's, it's not bad, though. All right. no, okay. Besides, one piece of wood, or are you going to cobble it together like from downstairs with all the all the various little bits and bits? Cobble together. Cobble together. Did you hear what he said about our new cabinet? It's going to be awesome. You're going to love it. Okay. Um, well, this all looks great. Good to go. Bolt yeah. it down. Let's move. Moving yeah. on. There we are. <laughs> <laughs> so we got to make a couple decisions about this this placement today. What's, the, uh, what's Well, in other words, we, we've been talking about making this countertop in two pieces, cutting a, this line that we drew on there. So this can go in, this can go in, and then this can go in later instead of having to fight all this large panels and squeaking it in place. But that's just something that the physics of it is going to tell us what to do, whether we can do it or not. So. <sighs> Well, I mean, no. it's a little cabinet. Don't let it kill you. No, Just slap not. it together. Let's move yeah, on. slap it together. I mean, really. The, um, the bottom panel is about this high. So we can either put a small shelf in the bottom, which would probably be the best idea, with a rail in the back so stuff doesn't fall down, just to be a... And the second shelf about here, with a pretty high rail. Well, it's only one cabinet. Just yeah, you can just put one. Just put the. Uh, you won't even need a shelf, I don't think. Well, the reason I, I th yeah, well, tall storage on a boat sucks. Yeah. But if we put a shelf here, it goes almost out to the hull. Yeah. Now you got some storage for clothes or whatever. Just lift this lid, right here. Yeah. And it's like a drawer that doesn't drawer. <laughs> Are you saying it's above? It's gonna be above the uh, opening. Be about here, the shelf. And where's the where's the cabinet door open? Um, right here. Okay, so it's halfway. Yeah, roughly halfway, and that way, if it goes back almost to the hall, now you get some reasonable storage in there. <laughs> Put two sweaters there. <laughs> <laughs> 
22 cans of Spam. 22 cans of Spam. Whatever, yeah. Yeah, canned goods, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Then, you know, you lost the closet, but you're going to gain some storage. It takes a minute to pull this off. And then we can, as we work this little cabinet into this angle. We're, we're not just, fighting the middle. Exactly. Right. We're not fighting this. And then we'll go to where this line just about appears again. Then we'll... That's seven degree. Does the fit yeah. thing fit, put on go on top of all that or in... It, What's that? Like the new cabinet face mounts on top of the... Front. No, flush to this. Yeah. Sticks out about three quarters okay. with a nice round corner here. Okay. So it'll, it'll kind of look like original equipment. See those four mounting screws right there? Okay. That's where the actual toilet mounted. Right. And what those are, they just drilled up and stuck those through. Those are bolts, bolt just sticking up through there. They mounted the toilet okay. and screwed down to those. Yeah. So that's not going to fit the new toilet. So what we're going to do is to cover that ugly mess up there, we've got it cleaned off, but it's fiberglass, I think, and stained. Yeah. And we'll make a teak plate that just covers all that. And we might be able to utilize those for, no, actually, if we have to drill new ones, we can do it from up there and then mount them through here. That way the new holes will correspond with the new toilet. There's four holes there. Because those are off that old toilet and I don't. So what are, those four, what are those four screws holding? Those hold the actual toilet to the pedestal area there. Oh, okay. So, and so you, you need to new, need, need do something in here or inside the head? Inside the head. Inside the head. Otherwise, if we mounted the right on top of it, you'd see, first of all, the pattern doesn't match, so we okay. will do new ones. And then you'd see that scum line that was on there. I mean, I tried to okay. clean it up with a razor blade and solvents and stuff. It's, so no, we'll just cover that with a nice teak. Oh, okay, great. And then, great. Uh, have, we, have you taken the new toilet up and seen if it fits? No, not yet. No. We're not ready to do that yet. So. Okay. But just looking at the pattern, that's four four holes and it definitely didn't match the new toilet. So. Didn't match the new toilet, no. okay. Good. All right. Let's open it up. Another. Uh huh. So you could yeah, see the see, holes. Their holes were like this or something. Okay. Much so whatever, wider. Yeah, so whatever that is, you, you'll see that ugly. Thing. Oh, yeah, you don't want that. So we'll just make a new one that just covers all that. Gotcha. Beautiful. New holes going up. Done. Nice. This has a macerator on it. That's nice, built in. That's the mas macerator. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing should get on that hole. It can't be chewed up. <laughs> Number one only. <laughs> Number one, exactly. <laughs> macerator not needed. Oh. We got our little remnants of our uh, of our bar. Yeah, those are all pretty good, I think. I think these are gonna. Tr we're gonna try to get these back in. I think those are good. This one's. Uh, we're broken. We'll do what we can to get them back in. Yeah. All right, so these are the old openings. Cut those out. That's yeah. how much we gained. Yeah, that'll be nice dropping down. And we won't make our bottom cleat this high. Okay. Because yeah. that just defeats the whole purpose of closing it down, dropping it down. You know what I mean? If you make... If you, you only need a three-eighths maybe. Okay. It's just to catch any splashes or whatever. And Oh, this was the cleat to just... Yeah, to this one on the inside like this. Right, yeah. So the door closed against that. Okay. Just to keep water out. Yeah. Turn the camera off. No. <laughs> How long have you been in the, in the galley now? You guys have been in the galley for like a month uh, or more. Probably. So what's, what's taken so long? Lots of little stuff. But you, if you what about the Twilight the Zone? You said something about the Twilight Zone. You never know. You never know what you're going to get. It's like a life, <laughs> life's like a box of chocolates. <laughs> <laughs> well, these are the uh, hatches that go over the top of the engine. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Dave replaced all that funky insulation with the new stuff. Okay, that's new? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he taped it with this uh, very shiny tape. Which okay. Is good. Okay, nice. Um, that's some good uh, insulation. Okay. And so that when you, when you, by doing that, any light that enters the living, uh, the engine room will be uh, reflected. Reflected, so yeah, helps. nice. This is the holding tank. Oh, this is the... Uh, yep, 18 the gallon holding tank. Mm -hmm. Wow. That should hold a few, a few flushes. Do you feel how heavy Wow, that look is. at that. That is major heavy duty. You got sticky heavy. It yeah. Oh, and heavy. So oh, sticky man. back on it. So when you cut your side, you... Okay, and what else do we got here? This is a, the, some new, new, uh, 
The yeah. gear, this is electronic gear. Basic electronic stuff everywhere. Okay, the hot water heater. I didn't know we need it. Still don't. Still don't know. Pretty sure we don't need it. So we hope in the next couple of weeks we're gonna see this whole cabinet mm -hmm. installed and done. Roger that. And um, on this here, this insert that goes in here mm -hmm. will probably be inset about an eighth. Okay. Only for appearance. Okay. So that you don't have this big blank flat surface. Oh, okay. And then it'll be a little router detail, a little chamfer here, and then the insert itself will have a little chamfer oh, nice. so that it flows. Well, it sounds like a lot of detail it's, work. Well, it's, it's no more trouble than making it flush. So it it's just one of those things that gives a little depth. This will probably have a chamfer here around the edges as well as this. So that when it's in there, there's no big square chunks of wood sitting there. Okay. Right. <sighs> the understated elegance, that's what I'm looking understated for. Elegance. Understated elegance. Right. There you go. For now, we'll just call them ancillary in the sense that these aren't really holding the project up any. Uh, so we'll probably set these aside for a while okay. and concentrate only on the galley mm. okay, yeah. because it's, it's like this you want this checklist to shrink <laughs> you have all this stuff scattered all over the place now when there's a certain process involved we'll get these down to where we the varnish stage probably so when we're varnishing one thing we can varnish a bunch of stuff that sort of thing okay. this is the 45 degree angle piece that goes in the galley behind the stove. Okay, excellent. The old one, same old story. It was kind of funky. It had a gap over here that was looking bad. Mm -hmm. So we said, you know, by the time we clean that up, it's still going to have a gap. So let's just make another one. Make another one. Because we had a whole sheet already laminated up. Oh, so okay, so we need to order some more. Another sheet. For, uh, for Micah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're going to order uh, the sheets of a laminate wood from Ted. As soon as he gets back from his tropical Which is vacations. When? when? So in a few days. Did so that was uh, yesterday. And so, so you guys are full steam ahead on this cabin. That's really what you're working on right now. Right, the entire galley. Uh, there'll be some other stuff we do just because it has to be done. And these are the old galley pieces which we're going to throw out, of course. Okay. They're just bad. That's, there's the elbow. There's the. Mm hmm. Away. Yeah. You had a piece of Formite on it. Yeah, it was kind of. What was wrong with it? It was. It had a funky gap. And it was just kind of. Gosh, we got this piece already glued up. We just cut it on the table. Just cut it. Yeah. It's a kind of monkey. And this was the old shelf. That was the old shelf we replaced with the new one you saw. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we were able to salvage the. Main galley bulkhead and that bulkhead that goes fore and aft, they just needed to be reformiced, that's all. And this piece here, this was the, uh, the, mid, the divider, right? No, that's the old countertop. Oh, that's the old countertop. The old sink countertop. Right. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So, as soon as we get the, the other faucet in, we can drill that stainless. We're not going to worry about it. We're concentrating on this cabinet now. Okay. And the ceiling planks and all the stuff that's involved. Okay. Now, Yes. All right, tick tock. It's mid March. Tick tock. Tick tock. It's the sound of your life, our lives oh, running away. Right. The sands of time. That's right. Time waits for no man.